Hi, everyone. This is my original uh, gut sales method uh, PowerPoint keynote display. Uh, when I first came up with the idea of the gut sales method, I wanted to outline it in mind maps, of course. And um, this is something I have not shared very often with people, and I've never narrated it. Um, it goes back to uh, the whole topic of this package, phone fear. Um, everything I teach uh, overcoming fear has occurred because I have a system. Systems are so much better than just winging it or using scripts or being in that uncomfortable position. We actually have a sales system. So I wanted to do a brief overview of the system uh, because I thought it was pertinent to this package, not just practicing and role-playing and things like that, but having an actual ABC, agenda qualification commitment closed system. So I'm gonna go over these mind maps briefly. Um, if you haven't, there's also some books in this package. Um, you should read them too. The gut sales method got great untraditional, unorthodox techniques of sales and success. Long mnemonic, I'm sorry. But if I had to say one thing that really got me to overcoming my reluctance and anxiety on cold calls and everything else, it was having this system in my head. And I tried to, and Guts has a lot of different parts. It's question based, and I'm going to go over them right now. Here is our first mind map. Um, and I have a, a rules of guts, the different moves, prospecting, questions, and this in the very important success staircase. This is what started it all: agenda, qualification, close, or as I like to say, commitment close. Um, so welcome to the gut sales method. It's it's about prospecting smart. And um, this is an older mind map. Uh, I talked a little bit about virtual attraction marketing, and that's how you prospect. The guts philosophy, we'll go into that, how you, the salesperson comes first. The different guts moves, uh, upfront pattern interrupts, how to ask questions, the staircase of success, of course, and the different rules. I even wrote a book uh, that came out late last year on the rules of the gut sales method. So sales is now fun, it's profitable, and it's within your control. And when you have a system of sales, it helps you to avoid all reluctance in speaking with people. It's just a better way. It's just a better way to do it. Um, I mean, there has to be an organized control method to sell. Otherwise, your efforts are mostly a waste of time. Sales has, has got to be more than just show and tell or some conventional stereotypical cliches. Um, can you think of a few of these tired phrases and things that salespeople use? They use scripts. They ask for the order five times or more. They give premature presentations. Um, they talk all about everything except ask the questions to find out what is the true need of the prospect. Do they qualify? Do they have the authority to make a commitment? Is it timely? And do they have the character to keep that commitment? Also, all of this is so important. Guts is a registered uh, trademark, by the way, of my company. Um, and it's um, something I took from all the different things I learned from my mentor and all my studies of different philosophical and psychological uh, means of, uh, of persuading and influencing people, not to manipulate them, but just to make a sales a better adult to adult experience with all of us. And that way, no anxiety, it can actually be fun. Um, let's move on here. Here's the guts philosophy. I'll go through this quickly. You're a professional, act like one, be the doctor. I say that so often. You, you have to, the doctor or the lawyer or any other professional learns to ask questions. Why? Because they can't read minds and we have to learn how to diagnose what the prospect needs. What's their need or greed, pain, uh, anticipation of joy. Um, a little controversial here, your financial success comes first. I believe that the salesperson has to come first. If you're doing business honestly and ethically, there's nothing to feel guilty about in, in, in providing for your family and paying your bills. You're entitled to be compensated when you give people good value. You're, you're, you want to have a certain amount of control in sales. Most salespeople just wing it. You want that control. Um, you want to make guts moves. These could be pattern interrupts. Um, these could be moves that shock and awe moves. Mr. and Mrs. Prospect, you're not allowed to think about it. it. Let's just say it's over. And this is when we, in the agenda move, which I'll show you very shortly, this is where we go up front to people and say, please fire me. Is it over? 
Um, you don't have to say you'll think about it when you really mean no. I don't want to call you back and bother you and leave countless voicemails. I don't need to do that. You don't want me to do that. So why don't we just be a couple adults in the room? Um, no begging and groveling. Salespeople always sound like they're beggars to me. You need to, if you're going to be a professional, sound like one. What does a professional sound like? Someone who's assertive, um, a good listener, uh, empathetic. They know how the people feel. Um, you you got to take on that role. Um, if you want a friend, you're not in business to make friends. It's nice if you could, but I think Harry Truman said it. If you want a friend in Washington, get a dog. Sales is no place. Um, some people take the bonding and report to and spend way too much time on that. Um, if your life stinks, it's your fault. Just a little personal. Uh, my first book, uh, the mentor teaches success. That was one of the rules, and I thought it was appropriate for in the guts philosophy here. Um, you're responsible for you. Um, no one's going to give it to you. You can blame God, the weather, uh, politics, and everything else, but you know what? You're the person who's going to have to be proactive. And studying and learning sales and overcoming your fears are the best way to find the financial success and the freedom that you want, that we all want. Um, your time, knowledge, and energy are valuable commodities. Make sure you value them. Work smart. We all know that already, right? We all work hard. I've talked to a lot of people, and I've been doing sales training for a while, and a lot of people always say, oh, I made all these phone calls. I did all these appointments. I did all this running around. And my question always is, yes, but how much did you make? Did you work smart? Because why are we in business, ladies and gentlemen, to make money today, to get a commitment today, to get a contract today, get an appointment or get out today? Put a value on your time, knowledge and energy. One of the things I give all my students, a little three minute timer, Put, place a value on your time, knowledge and energy. Fake it until you make it. Sometimes you've got to talk. The best way to learn sales in, and your product line of the services is to talk to enough people. They'll ask you the questions. You'll make mistakes. That's okay. But you'll learn because most people ask the same questions, the same 10, 15, 20 questions. And, and if you don't know the answer, say the immortal, I don't know, three most powerful words in sales. Say, I don't know and fake it until you make it. And then you'll learn it and you'll never make those mistakes again. Um, the guts rules, uh, no free consulting, no begging. Be the doctor and the lawyer. Ask questions. Guts is a question-based system. But when you ask questions, make sure you stroke and nurture people. Make sure you make them feel good. Make sincere compliments on that. Make them feel like you care, you're interested. Make it emotional. Um, a little above here, be a doctor, lawyer. Be also a thespian. Be a 